Hey guys, how you doing? This is uh, Coach Travis here, and I want to talk to you about something that I think is very important, and that is competition in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and mixed martial arts. Now, when I say it's very important, uh, what I mean is not necessarily that everybody should compete, but I believe that everybody who wants to compete should compete. And now, um, a lot of times, the reason I'm talking about this is I've had students in the past who, when they first came in to the program, they first came into the school, one of the goals they put down was that they wanted to compete. Then as they trained, their skills improved, they got better, they got, you know, more prepared for an actual competition. And when it came time to actually compete, for some reason or another, they didn't want to. And um, like I said, I had a couple of students who actually came. When I talked to them, I said, hey man, you know, you told me you wanted to compete. Are you still interested in competing? And there was sometimes an excuse, oh, I'm not able to do it this weekend. Oh, I'm, I'm busy. Oh, I don't think I'm ready. This and that. But what I figured out with, with a couple students was that they actually had this fear. And, it, and it's very normal because, you know, a lot of people have this. But they had this fear that if they were to go out com and compete, and not perform well or lose that somehow that meant that they were going to let down their team or their coaches now I've heard of this at other gyms where you know this actually might be true or you know if you compete and you don't do well that you, know, you might get scolded by your your coach or something like that but um I just want to let all everybody who's a you know who's a member here know that the reason that that us as coaches ask you you know to compete or encourage you to compete is because it is a great way for you to improve your skill level regardless of the outcome whether you win whether you lose whether it's a draw you will leave the competition better than you were before you enter the competition okay now like I said if, if competition is not your thing if you absolutely like have no desire to compete that's 100% 100% fine you can still improve you can still move up the range you can still accomplish all your non-competition related goals but if you are interested in competing and the one thing that's holding you back is the thought that you know maybe you're going to let down your team or let down your coaches or have a bad performance or something like that then that's something you need to you know get through basically and not worry about that because us as coaches myself and I speak for all the coaches here at Team Took like I said we're just trying to encourage guys that want to compete to compete for the sake of improving in the sport improving in the martial arts because that's going to be the the real benefit of competing not the gold medal I mean I guarantee you any medal or trophy you win in a tournament is worth significantly less than the money you put into registering for the tournament so you know you don't you know win or lose you're not taking much home with it except the experience and this experience is what's valuable um, now the other part of it is just the natural nervousness and anxiety that we have about competing not so much the worry about you know what if I do badly you know because of my coaches or my teammates or anything like that but just the worry the you know going into unknown territory you know going in someone who is standing across from the mat and huffing and puffing and you've never trained with them before and they're coming out and they're trying to choke you and they're trying to get you and 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 a lot of people they experience this anxiety and this nervousness and they think that they're alone that they're the only ones that feel that way and that everyone else competing magically just feels comfortable about it and is excited about it and the truth is that everyone from day one beginner white belts who are entering their first competition to jiu-jitsu black belts to UFC fighters to Anderson Silva all those guys when they enter into the competition cage or competition ring they feel nervous what the experience people have learned to do is to blend their nervous energy with their excitement and use both to perform at their best ability but the nervous feeling is completely normal you're going to go through it if you want to compete you're going to be nervous just accept that and do it anyway the more you compete 
the more you learn to control those nerves, but the nerves never go away. I don't care how many times you win, I don't care how much experience you get, I don't care, you know, if you fought the same person 10 times on the mat and beat them 10 times, you're still going to feel a little bit nervous and a little bit anxious about what you're about to do, okay? So, that's something that you can certainly work on. You can visualize yourself going in, you can visualize yourself doing well, and you can work on the mental side of it, but it's not going to go away, it's just a matter of controlling it, all right? Now, um, just to kind of close, one thing I really want to talk about is, you know, as a coach, what I'm telling you guys, what I really 100% believe is if you train for the competition, you prepare the best you can. You go to the competition, you give 100% effort during the competition. It doesn't matter if you win, lose, tie, whatever happens, you did what a champion does. It means you gave 100% effort, you trained and prepared for it, and you went into battle and you did it. So the win, the win's great, but I mean, sometimes you win when you're, you know, when you're not even, you know, prepared to get lucky. The other person could just have a bad day or they're just not very good and you win and you didn't necessarily, you know, deserve it. And other times you might lose and give a hundred percent effort and you did everything you could and the person's just better than you that day. Okay, but it's not 100% about the win-lose. Yes, we're, you, you, you're trying to win. You must try to win. But it's not just about the win. It's about doing your absolute best. And I know that's cliche. Everybody says that, oh, just do your best. But, but not a lot of people really do their best. They just say it. Doing your best means you put forth the effort. You go out there and you leave everything on the mat. So I passes your guard. You keep fighting. So I mount you, you're shrimping out. So I take your back, you're protecting, you're trying to you're trying to recover and you're trying to get there. And you're not quitting on yourself or giving up or, or rolling your eyes back and just accepting the you know the laws. You you're always giving your best effort. And if you do that and somebody beats you, there's zero shame in that. Me personally, you know, um, I know a lot of guys they see me training and of course I've been training a long time, I have a lot of experience, so you know you you're probably gonna see me mostly winning, you know, in the sparring matches that we have here. But in competition, I've lost a lot of matches. I lived in Brazil, you know, with top level black belts and, and, and got tapped out every single day. And yes, I was nervous when I trained with them and I was nervous when I did these competitions. And I was nervous on the matches that I won. I was nervous on the matches that I lost. But I wouldn't trade any match or any experience that I ever had because every single one made me better. And so, um, very important, guys, if... If you're thinking about competing, if you have a goal to compete but something is holding you back, you're nervous or you, or you keep pushing it off or you keep finding a reason or excuse, but deep down inside the, the real reason why you're not doing it is just because, you know, you're worried about, you know, what's going to happen or you're worried about the outcome or you're worried about disappointing your coaches or your teammates or something like that, let all that go, one, and two, talk to your coaches because I guarantee you every single coach here has been where you are before we've all been white belts we've all been blue belts we've all whatever belt you know the coaches are at now we've all been everything before that and we've all experienced competition we've all experienced the nervousness and anxiety we've experienced what it's like to have a good day training what it's like to have a terrible day training what it's like to come in and you know tap everybody out and what it's like to just have our butts handed to us you know basically and the only reason we're still around is simply because we persevered and we didn't quit and that's the biggest you know lesson that I can can tell you guys is um is you just keep going and as far as competition you know you're gonna win some you're gonna lose some the more you train and compete and prepare the more the wins are gonna come but at the beginning stages sometimes you know you're gonna get a mixture of wins losses sometimes the losses could be higher than the wins but it doesn't matter especially if you're if you're a white belt you know it doesn't really matter. I mean, you're just going out there and doing what you can to get better. I know guys who are black belt world champions who have never won a major tournament as a brown belt, purple belt, or blue belt. They've done okay, but they've never like won the big one. And then they get to black belt and they win it. Meanwhile, a lot of the people who won at the blue and purple and even brown belt level just kind of faded and quit or, or didn't, you know, keep going and they never accomplished the bigger goals. Um, Obviously, not everybody's trying to be a black belt world champion or a, or a UFC fighter, but we all have our goals, right? 
If your goals are not competition related, then this video, you know, not so much for you, and, and that's that's fine. But if your goals are competition related, that's who I'm talking to for this video. If your goals are to compete, but something's holding you back, talk to your coaches. We've been there, we're happy to help you out. We want you to reach your goals, we want to, you know, take you to the next level, <clears throat> and we want to make sure that you understand that anything you feel or are going through or nervousness or whatever is 100% normal, and there's a way to get through it. But at the end of the day, what we're trying to do every day is leave the mat better than we were. Not just a better martial artist, but a better person. And, and competition does that. Competition will test your mental strength, it will test your mental toughness, it will test your physical endurance, it will test your technique, it will test so much so that when you leave, it's like a huge test on so many levels. It's impossible to walk off the mat not being, you know, a much better uh, martial artist, and even, you know, might sound silly, but even a better person because of that experience that you get. So, um, that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to share that with you, let you guys know that, you know, um, anything that you need from your coaches, you know, regarding competition, regarding anything, you know, on the mat, but this video is specific to the competitors. Uh, talk to your coaches, talk to me, happy to help you out, <clears throat> and, um, that's it. See you guys on the mat.